hey guys welcome to my channel so today is gonna be a vlog so today is March 12th and I have to go pick up my friend from the airport and I'm like running a little bit late so I'm gonna talk to you guys in a bit so I just arrived at the airport I'm gonna call her and see where she's at oh oh <laughs> there she is do you want to put yeah. the stuff in the trunk? Huh? Do you want to put your stuff in the trunk? Or? Sure. Or do you have the trunk space or no? Yeah, I do. Oh, it's really empty. Right there. I just have water. Oh. The weather here. Dude. <laughs> like, oh, look I'm at you! Is that recording? Oh, wait. Good. <laughs> you tell oh. me. <laughs> She's so hype. I love this girl. Um, she doesn't have too much stuff, so I don't need to help her. <laughs> Why does she have like 10 bags? She only stay there for like how many days? How many bags do you have? I thought you only had one bag. <laughs> how long were you staying there for? I stayed there for eight days. Oh, eight days? Yeah. It seems like it was forever. Three outfits every day. <laughs> oh my God. Give me a hug. I missed you. Oh my gosh, I missed you. Thanks for getting up. Yeah, no problem, girl. That's so I was like running late. Did you come exactly at 3.30 or? 2.30? Um, or 2 yeah, 30. kind of, but it's fine. No, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Say hi to the vlog. Hey, vlog. Introduce yourself. What's up? I'm a Chinese main girl. <laughs> Basically. No. No, you are. That's so cute. Dude, Florida was so nice. I saw the Instagram oh story. Tell me gosh. everything. So beautiful. Palm trees instead of pine trees. You went to the beach. Yeah, I went to the beach. How was the weather there? I was actually. Yeah, I need to get like a vlogging camera, but you know, I don't need to buy that right now because you get rolled on a budget. Yeah, exactly. So our food just came. Oh. Selena, what'd you get? I won't put you in the vlog if you don't want to be. Just, we're so basic. That's a relative. What is that? I decided to get some mashed potatoes on the side and I got some dessert too, like all in one right now. So we're just gonna eat this and she went to the bathroom. She left me alone inside. I'm not sure if you guys can see me too well, but I just dropped her off at the house. We just went out to eat at Applebee's, um, dropped her off, and now I think I'm just gonna go home. I don't really have much to do anymore. But it was really nice catching up with her again. I just want to like have a relaxing day where I'm not doing too much. I need to finish editing a video. And then also I'm going to edit this video and put it up. I want to sit down and just like, you know, just, just, just have a relaxing day. Read a book and write some things down there. I'm back home now and I'm like really tired. I want to like take a quick nap, but I have so much things that I need to do. I need to finish editing a video that I want to really upload today. Um, what else do I need to do? I don't really know, but you guys hear the dopey music in the background? That's my grandmother. Let's see what she's up to, huh? The <laughs> video, Bobo. Why? She's ignoring me. She's literally just cutting her nails and she's not trying to like talk to me right now. <laughs> Jam kuten. Bo. Hello. Abo, kind of a YouTube it, please. I don't know about YouTube. I don't know. You're gonna put you in a kuno right there. You're gonna put you in a thing. You're very pretty. Okay. She doesn't want to be in the vlog. Sadly, she didn't want to be in the vlog today, but um. Yeah, she's just, you know, doing her, cutting her nails, just just being really sassy, just being like grandma. You know how grandmas are. She's listening to her Ethiopian music like usual. Like, every African household has to have, like, Ethiopian or some type of African music in the background. Because if, if there's not, like, are you are you really African? But, um, what else do I need to do? My arms is tired! I think I'm going to start editing now because I don't know if I'm going to do anything else later. But if I do, then I probably will vlog it. But I'm not going to end the video right now. Oh, 
school five hours later and I'm now just finishing my video. Like, I took many breaks like in between so that's why it took me so long. Um, but I finished that and I just made myself some chai tea latte because I love it so much. Um, it's this chai tea latte from Trader Joe's and it's so good guys, like so good. I was just, just sitting here thinking like, dang, I'm really bored right now and I just kind of like wish I had someone to talk to. Um, and then like all these negative thoughts just started coming to my mind, I don't really know why. So I just, you know, I'm listening to worship music right now, that's why I have, um, headphones in my ear because I don't want to get copyrighted on YouTube so I'm just gonna you know put some headphones on while I'm talking to the camera um I'm gonna just read a little bit I'm gonna read some scripture because like I don't know sometimes I just get in these type of moods where I'm just like feeling really lonely and I feel like like I have no one to talk to like I want someone to talk to but like obviously like, there's no one to talk to right now and um I don't really have too many friends and stuff like that, so it gets like lonely at times, but I just have to, um, you know, trust God and I just felt really down and just like really lonely. And right away, like, something just told me, like, to just start reading scripture, so that's what I'm gonna do right now while I'm listening to worship music. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I've been reading the book of Acts lately, and it's really good. I haven't read the past couple of days, but. I really want to get in the habit of like reading every day, not just like every other day or like read a few days and take like a week off and then, you know, it's just like I'm just really trying to be consistent and be very intentional with God and, you know, growing our relationship. So that's why I'm reading the Bible more and it's been helping a lot for sure. It's been helping a lot, a lot. So I need to do it more often and... I don't know, I just like get in these type of moods where I'm just like feeling really lonely and I just feel like I have no one there, like, like no one to talk to, like physically, and it's like, I don't know, it's, it's hard. I'm just gonna start reading scripture now. So I was just reading the book of Acts and I was just thinking about like all the stuff that, um, the disciples went through, like John and Peter and I think it was Simon. But that was like kind of like later on in Acts. They just, they were going through so much like trials and tribulations and they never gave up. They fought the good fight. Like people were trying to kill them and I don't know if they ended up getting killed, but I know that Stefan was stoned, but um, I haven't read that far yet. I don't remember. But um, like what I'm trying to say is like, they literally were so strong. I just can't imagine like being them. It's crazy like how back in the day these people were like preaching the word. They did not care what other people would say. Like other people would try to like make them fit into the, you know, the regular. They were trying to make them follow all these laws and just like try to make them um, fit into society. Um, they did not want them to preach the gospel and especially in the name of Jesus. But John and Peter were so brave. They still did it. They still went out. They still preached and they still like baptized these people. They were just being led by God and they were so brave and they had so much boldness. And that's so incredible because like, I don't, I just don't know how they did it. Like people were threatening to kill them every day, but they didn't care. They were so firm in what they believed in. Like they were gonna preach the gospel no, no matter what. Like. <laughs> that just like encourages me so much because it just really shows that like you know how far are you willing to go for God um I don't really know where I'm going with this but I just want to say that like us now as believers as Christians we have to we have to like rise up and start speaking out you know start telling people about the gospel because I feel like Everyone has lost their focus. Everyone is like not really concerned about like the word of God anymore. And it's just like, it breaks my heart because like these people in the church are not even like doing anything about it. And that's why like the Christian communities, like a lot of Christian communities are just so, they're just so lukewarm and just very dry and you're not really seeing fruit. Um, which like, it doesn't have to be like that. Like I just, it breaks my heart because it's like, I don't even know why, you know? They're not filled with the fire, they're not filled with the spirit, I feel like, because if you were, you're not just gonna sit comfortably, you're not just gonna 
be like everyone else and not do anything about it like it's so good like getting into the word is so good like when you really have that strong desire to know god on that level and you're just filled with the fire of god you just want to go out and tell everyone you want to bring people to his kingdom you literally just want to talk about jesus all the time and that's how i feel like all the time like i'm just when i'm in prayer sometimes i just get this urge and i don't know i just want to like i just want to tell people i just want to like i want them to feel I just want them to feel his goodness sometimes because I don't even know how like ugh. I'm not gonna start crying right now because there's really no need for that um Chagi stop being sensitive for no reason okay yeah I want us to be known you know like I, I just I want us to be known I want us to be strong in faith I want us to go out and be bold I hope you guys are understanding like what I'm saying but seriously like ugh, I'm so glad I just like read that and you know got in the word again because I needed to I was just feeling like really lonely and feeling defeated <laughs> I don't know why but oh, it's a constant battle it's a constant battle like I struggle with so many things like but God's always there God's always there to pick me up like he just did right now and sometimes it's not always right away like sometimes it takes days weeks months years even but we have to continue, we have to continue growing together. You have to continue. You can't just like give up and you can't just, you know, let the enemy take over your life because if you do, you're never gonna live in purpose and you're never gonna, you're never gonna be happy. You're never gonna let God just, you know, give you that peace that you need. Just continue believing and stay in his presence because if you don't, the world is just gonna like suck you right in and make you feel all this negative energy that you don't need to be feeling so yeah just remember that god loves you more than anything more than anyone well um more than your mother your father your sister your brother whoever um in this physical world that loves you you know god loves you more and i love you guys too so we'll talk next time bye by you it's who i am let's just ignore that mess back there so yeah